you know, you guys know by listening to the show that Danny doesn't just put out. Danny is uh, Danny very picky, has a very low number, mm-hmm. and will not ever exceed that number in her life. She yep. when, when she was younger, she said, "This is how many dudes are going to have the privilege of being with me. It's an honor, <laughs> and I'm not going to break this number." And you still have a few to spare. Yeah, I do. If I'm correct. I am. All right. Nice. You are. Now, uh, all that said, why does Danny's phone ring on Fridays? Why is Danny's date book full and yours isn't? You're cute. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you're not throwing it out there. Mm-hmm. There's probably a few things you're doing wrong. Well, this morning, we learn dating truths from Danny Starr. Okay. I'm, I'm looking forward oh, to it. Oh, I'm ready myself. Okay, you will always, always, always regret... Doing a follow-up text message, like, I was just wondering if you got the last text message I sent. Oh. Unless your oh. phone is miraculous, miraculously broken or they are crazy. Like, yes, they got your text message. Never, ever text, hey, I just wondered if you got my other text message. Yeah, yes, the, they did. They're ignoring you or there's a reason they don't why. they come through. No. No, they always come through. No, the, the, but I'm talking about you can't be the girl who always texts after every text message two minutes later or five minutes later. Did you get my text? Question mark. Yes, they the, got it. The follow-up text stinks of desperation. And and be right. This is why you get the follow-up and text And that's all why the time. girls, a guy <laughs> won't call you back if he's, like, it just Sometimes won't happen. I don't get the text. All right. Uh, next truth, Danny. If you don't feel comfortable talking to a guy about putting on a condom or what type of birth control you're using, you have no business sleeping with him. Because you have to be comfortable enough to be like, right. look... What kind of, let's talk this out, because if you aren't using birth control or you're not using condoms, you're going to get pregnant. Now, you need to be able to have a conversation with that guy or you shouldn't be sleeping with uh, him. Every, everybody is uh, is much more comfortable if we know that there are no babies on the way. Okay, girls know this one. Just as it's best to wait for a guy to say I love you first, let him change his Facebook status first oh. because you really might not be his girlfriend. You just might think you are. Uh, and you changing it, you change it to in a relationship on Facebook and he sees it. No, no. One, once again, desperation. Right. Well, you do not want to go from in a relationship to it's complicated in two minutes. And that could very well happen. Okay. So you never, ever have to feel like you have to give it up. Like, don't feel that way. If he's there, he wants to be there and he will wait. So, so you're, so not, don't, you're not obligated. No, you're not obligated at all. If you don't want to give it up right now and you want to wait, then wait. Because any guy who really cares about you is going to be there at the end of when you're ready to give it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so keeping a change at close in case of a walk of shame is not like bad news. It's career savvy. It happens to all of us. So keep a change of clothes with you. mm -hmm, Because if you have to emergently get up and you're late for work, what are you going to do? Wear the same thing twice? No, get into work, grab them clothes, change it up. That's so you you smart. bring a uh, a change of clothes, and that does not scream slut. No. No. Okay, yeah. wonderful. That's smart. I don't care what anybody says. I always thought it screamed slut. <laughs> Rounding them up. If you are in a relationship and it feels ridiculously, it's exa- like you're exhausted in the first month, mm. think about it five months from now. It's going to be even more work. If, it's, if it starts with a lot of drama, it'll if, it'll end with a ton of drama. Yes, so no. if it's hard the first month when you're supposed to be in a honeymoon phase, right. make it in now because five months from now it's going to be horrible. Right. They, last, say, they say relationships are supposed to be, you're supposed to work hard at a relationship. Yeah. Not that hard. Uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some you stuff, shouldn't have to work that some hard. Some stuff is supposed to come easy. Yeah. For, and me, last but not least, mm. if a guy talks about he's hacking or... He got it like that. That's pretty much like a guy who's always talking about money. He ain't got it. He don't have no money, and he ain't packing. Because actions speak louder than words. If he is packing, he knows he is. He don't have to tell you. Okay, so if he says he's got it. He'll tell you later in the bed. If he says he's got it, he 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 doesn't have it. No. A guy who doesn't talk about it but lays it on you, he got it. If you talk about, oh, I'm paid, I'm paid, I'm paid, I got money. Okay, I'm not going to comment on that. Well, good. Thank you. And those are Danny's Dating Truths. All right.